Deputy Speaker. Um, I move the motion relating to plastic bags in the terms in which appears on the notice paper. Thank you. Last year, students from Kangaroo Island Community Education in my electorate shared their research with me about the impact we humans have on the environment. The Year 4 5 students were so passionate about the environment that they started several local environmental initiatives, including a clean-up at the local beach and a soft plastics bin in their schoolyard. In Australian classrooms, our children are taught how human activity is contributing to the deterioration of our environment. In our own households, so often it is our children who are leading the way by encouraging their families to make more environmentally friendly choices. The class I visited also investigated and reported on a number of different environmental schemes, including the importance of a national plastic bag ban across Australia. The class explored the issue further than the ban, identifying what they could do in their own households to reduce waste and correctly recycle soft plastics. And soft plastics, it's so important we get rid of them uh, because uh, all of our marine life seem to see them as jellyfish and uh, we are killing our marine animals. I want to sincerely thank the students of Kangaroo Island Community Education. Their infectious enthusiasm encouraged me to put forward this important motion. Thank South you. Australia was also the first state in 2009 to introduce a widespread ban on single-use plastic shopping bags. On average, these lightweight single-use bags are only used for a total of 12 minutes. Scientific research cited by the World Economic Forum indicates that as of 2013, approximately 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic were floating in the world's oceans. The forum has predicted that this number will rise to a phenomenal 250 trillion tonnes in 2025. EcoWatch now estimate that 40 per cent of the world's ocean surfaces contain plastic debris. Each single-use plastic bag takes between 10 sorry, 20 and 1,000 years to biodegrade. Because of their lightweight nature, they are also prone to travelling long distance via air and water. These non-biodegradable plastic bags are killing thousands of marine animals every year, as I said, and they're causing irreversible damage to our marine ecosystems. A 2011 review of the South Australian ban by researchers at the University of South Australia found that approximately 80 per cent of the community supported the ban on plastic bags in my state. And that's twice uh, as many households that now regularly carry their own reusable bags to the shops compared to before when the bag came into effect. Another key conclusion of the 2011 review was that consideration should be given to extend the bag to cover other types of plastics, especially those are thicker and heavier. I'm encouraged by the states and territories who have already implemented this ban, including the ACT, the Northern Territory and Tasmania. I note that Queensland and Western Australia have committed to banning the bag this year. Plastic bags, banning plastic bags is not a new phenomenon. Single-use plastic bags have been banned nationally and in several countries around the world, including Morocco, Italy and Belgium. And many other nations have localised or partial bans, such as Canada, the United States, Brazil and Botswana. Last year, I wrote to both the New South Wales and Victorian premiers, urging them to join the rest of the country in banning the plastic bag. A plastic bag ban is not even a difficult policy um, because they can simply look at what South Australia has done and uh, adopt our comprehensive policies on this. We have essentially um, blazed uh, the trail for Victoria and New South Wales. And I was encouraged by the comments from the Victorian Environment Minister uh, to reduce the impact of plastic bags in Victoria. And I understand that the Victorian Parliament has now made a commitment to ban the plastic bag and is currently undertaking the consultation process. However, I must say I was incredibly disappointed with the New South Wales Premier's uh, uh, response to me. Um, she welcomed the leadership of Woolworths, Coles and Harris Farms to phase out single-use plastic bags, but was then pointedly silent about committing to any such leadership herself. And so I would urge uh, the Premier of New South Wales to consult with her community. Um, this can be done uh, and uh, is the most populous nation we have in, in the most populous state in our nation. Reusable and bio biodegradable bags have been around for some time and are affordable alternatives. A ban on lightweight, single-use plastic bags provides a clear incentive for people to use materials kinder to our environment. Implementing a single-use plastic bag ban uh, in every state and territory sends a strong, consistent message that all Australians will make small changes. Um, we are an island nation, we are surrounded by water and we must do better to take care of our marine environment. 
I strongly support those states and territories who have already had their bags, uh, their bans on bags uh, or in the process of heading towards that. And I strongly, again, encourage the New South Wales government uh, to take a leadership role in this. Uh, it can be done. Uh, nine years in South Australia we have had a plastic bag ban uh, and it's about time that our most populous state uh, joined the team. Thank yeah. you.